Tonight's lesson is Lesson 12.2, Customary Units of Measure. Our essential question is, how can you use models to compare customary units of length? Tonight, we'll be working in our Go Math books on page 223. Two very important things, measurement tools that you use when measuring length are the yardstick, which is up here, and then we have rulers that we use. Now, each ruler measures 12 inches, and in 12 inches is one equal to one foot. So a ruler has 12 inches in it, and it's equal to one foot. So if we had 12 plus 12 plus 12, that would be one, two, three feet and we would add up 12 and that would give us 36 inches. Now, if you look, three of our rulers, which are also equal to one foot, this is two feet, and then we have three feet, is equal to one yard. So one yard equals three feet, and there are 12 inches in one foot. And that's very important for you to remember. So there are three feet in one yard, and there are 12 inches in one foot. Okay, now let's practice in our Go Math book. Now it's really important that you, while we're working in our Go Math book, today throughout this lesson that you're paying attention to this chart right here. It's very important. So now let's look at our example question. It says that 3 feet equals 36 inches. Well, I know that 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, and that's my ruler. So if I have 3 feet, I'm going to draw my ruler. So here's 1 foot, here's 2, and here's 3. So I know that each one equals 12 inches inches. So I have 12 plus 12 plus another 12 and that equals, if I added 12 plus 12 plus 12, then I would get 36 inches. And so that's how they came up with this answer here. And I used my models to draw out this problem. Now let's look at number two. It says that two yards equals how many feet? Well, I can see by my chart that one yard equals three feet. So if I have two yards, I wonder how many feet I would have. So I can draw my model. So I have one yard here. I'm going to put one yard. So I know that's what it equals to. And then I have two yards here. So I have two yards. Well, I know that one yard is equal to three feet. But then I have another yard. So I have two yards. So I have another three feet here. So I can add three feet plus another three feet. And I would get six feet. So two yards, and each yard is equal to three feet, two yards is equal to six feet. Okay, let's look at number three. Number three says eight feet equals how many inches? Well, now we're going back to like how we did number one. We're going from feet to inches. So I want to know how many eight feet, how many inches that equals. Well, I know that one foot equals 12 inches. So if I have eight feet times 12 inches, and I can solve that problem by doing multiplication, eight or 12 times eight, two times eight is 16. I carry my one to my tens place, and eight times one is eight plus one is nine. So I have 96. So eight feet is equal to 96 inches. 
All right, number four says seven yards equals how many feet? Well, I know that one yard, e one yard equals three feet. So if I have seven yards, then I would say seven times seven yards times three feet, and that would equal twenty-one. So seven yards equals twenty-one. Feet, and, and that would be like me having seven yards. So this equals my yards here, and I have seven of them, and each one is equal to three feet. So that would be like adding three seven times seven yards times three feet, and then I would get 21. Okay, I want you to try numbers five. Six and seven on your own. Make sure to use your chart if you need it and press pause. And when you're ready to go over the answers, you can press play. Okay, number five says four feet equals, and you should have 48 inches because we should have had four feet. And one foot equals 12 inches. So if I have four feet, I'm going to say four times 12, and that would give me 48 inches. For number six, it says 15 yards, and it would equal 45 feet. Now remember, in one yard, there's three feet. So if I have 15 yards, I would have 15 times three, 15 yards times three feet, and that would give me 45. And number seven, 10 feet equals 120 inches. Remember in one foot, it's 12 inches. But if I have 10 feet, I would say 10 feet times 12 inches. And that would give me 120. I hope you got those right. Let's do some more practice. All right, let's look at these practice problems. It says compare using less than, greater than, or equal to. So we're gonna have to compare three yards to 10 feet. Well, I wanna see how many feet three yards equals to, and I can see if it's less than, greater than, or equal to 10 feet. Well, I know that th one yard equals three feet. So if I have three yards, then I would say, three times three, and that would give me nine. So I have nine feet equals to three yards. Well, I know that nine is less than 10. So nine feet or three yards is less than 10 feet. Number nine says five feet, is it less than, greater than, or equal to 60 inches? Well, I know, and I looked at my chart up here, I know that one foot equals 12 inches. So if I have five feet, then I would say five feet times 12, and that will tell me how many inches five feet equals. So I can come over here and I can solve 12 times five. Well, five times two is 10, carry my one, and five times one is five plus one is six. So five feet equals 60 inches. So five feet is equal to 60 inches, so they're equal to. And number 10 says eight yards is what to 20 feet? So I need to see how many feet are in eight yards so I can compare it to 20 feet. Well, I know that there are three feet in one yard, so I can say three feet times eight yards equals 24 feet. So eight yards equals 24 feet, and I can see that 20 feet is less than 24 feet. So eight yards is greater than 20 feet. Now, I want you to try numbers 11, 12, and 13 on your own. Press play when you're ready to go over the answers. Okay, let's go over our answers. For number 11, you should have said that three feet is greater than 10 inches. Now, I need 
need to see how many inches are in three feet so that I can compare it to 10 inches. Well, I know that there's one in one foot, there are 12 inches, so I can say three times 12 inches, and that would give me 36 inches in three feet. So I can say that 36 is bigger than 10 inches. So three feet is greater than 10 inches. Number 12, you should have said that three yards is less than 21 feet because in one yard, there are three feet. So three times three would give me nine yards, or I'm sorry, nine feet in three yards. So nine feet is less than 21 feet. So three yards is less than 21 feet. In number 13, you should have said that six feet is equal to 72 inches because we need to see how many inches are in six feet. And I would say six times 12 inches, and that would give me 72. So they're equal to. Let's look at our next problem. It says Carla has two lengths of ribbon. One ribbon is two feet long. The other ribbon is 30 inches long. Which length of ribbon is longer? Explain. So make sure you work out this problem the best that you can and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over this answer. So one of her ribbons is two feet long and the other one is 30 inches long. I wanna know which ribbon is the longer ribbon. So I really need to find out how many inches are in two feet. Well, I know that in one foot, it's 12 inches. So I have two feet. So I can say that two feet times 12 inches, and that would give me 24. So in her first ribbon, her first ribbon is 24 inches long. The second ribbon is 30 inches long. So I can already see which one is the bigger or the longer ribbon. It would be the ribbon that is 30 inches long. So my answer should be 30 inches because 30 inches is longer than 24 inches. Here's our next practice problem. It says a football player gained two yards on one play. On the next play, he gained five feet. Was his gain greater on the first play or the second play? So I want you to work out this problem. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's look at this question. So we wanna see was his first play of two yards, was that a bigger gain or was the second play of five feet a bigger gain? So I really need to know how many yards, how many feet is equal to two yards. So two yards, I know that there are three feet in one yard. So if I have two yards, I could say three feet times two yards is equal to six feet. And that was his first play. So that's his first play. And then it told me that his second play was five feet. So I can already see that his first play, he had the bigger gain because it was equal to six feet. And six feet is more than five feet. So his first play, he had a bigger gain, a greater gain, because it's equal to six feet. And six feet is greater than five feet. Here are your homework questions for tonight. And these are the first two questions on page 224 in your Go Math book. So I want you to work out numbers one and two. And then you're going to work on the last four review questions on page 224 on your own. Make sure to assess yourself after you get done with your homework and put the, your assessment level at the top of your Go Math page. Good luck on your homework problems, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.